Hi, today we're going to talk about the Samsung P2 and the iPod Touch. Um, both are like the two top uh, touchscreen media players out right now. Uh, now the Samsung P2, it's 1.63 inches by 3.78 by 0.31 inches. And the iPod Touch is 4.3 by 2.4 by 0.03 inches. Um, so you see the iPods, it is bigger, it's not as compacted as this. They're both pretty slim, really close, same size. Now the iPod is uh, 120 grams, it's kind of heavy. Now the P2 is only 85 grams, which is considerably lighter considering it's not that much. I mean the screen size isn't that much smaller. You've got a 3 inch LCD touch screen on this. And the iPod, you've only got a 3.5 LCD, which is just a little bit bigger. Big weight difference though on them. Um, let's take a look at them, see uh, what else is different. All right, let's start by turning the two on. First, we'll turn the iPod on. Now the P2. See, the P2 starts up right away. The iPod's still loading. It takes a minute. Now that, the um, P2 runs on the Emotur interface. You see on here, it's really cool. You see the different menus flying around. All right, now we got the iPod on, too. It's um real simple, basic menu structure. Let's take a look at... Um, one of my favorite things with the P2, the menu styles you can change. Um, menu design, Cosmos, it's one we were using, We you see all the icons coming out. And we got Matrix, which is a lot like the, the iPod. We got My Skin, which is real customizable. That and Matrix are both really customizable. What's also real nice on these is you can change the fonts on the P2. You've got three different fonts you can choose from. You can't do that on the Apple unless you download a, a hack. Head back out. Um, and here you just touch what you're looking for, music. Everything here, same thing, music. They both have a photo viewer on them. Um, you can pick uh, on the P2, pick a photo. Go to the menu on it. Um, and you see the screen on this is beautiful you can see the image on here really nice um select is my skin all right um both of these have something um in common you've got uh, data casts on the p2 and you've got podcasts on the ipod they're both basically the same thing you both have photo viewers on them um this you have album artwork. When you're cycling through music, you can go ahead and check uh, the different album covers. On the iPod, you've got Cover Flow, which is similar things, just different styles on them. Um, and on the iPod, you have web browsing if you've got the Wi-Fi set up on it. On here, like I said, on the P2, you've got the Bluetooth on it, which is really nice. Now, as far as sound goes on here, um, let's take a look at what the Apple's got. You get a good music, EQ. You just got the the Apple EQ. You got a list of different options you can choose. Let's take a look at the P2, see what that does. Go to the um, music menu. That sound effects, you got street mode. You can turn on and off, it means um it can be clear for um, when you're walking down the street. It drowns out all the noise in the background. And you've got your clarity you can set. Then we've got DNSE, which is kind of like the EQ, except it's um, the 3D music on it. You can go under User, under DNSE. Then you set your 3D base, and your EQ customize it to however you want it to be, which is... Really cool, I think, on here. You can do uh, a lot with that. And as far as features, they've got... Um, it's got the main menu on both of these. Okay, for features on here, um, the P2, you've got the FM radio. You've got an FM radio recorder, so you can record what's on the, the radio. And you've got a voice recorder, so you've got your voice digital voice recorder built in on this, which is really nice. On the iPod, what you've got is um, 
You like contacts thing, uh, stopwatch, calculator. They both have a calendar built into them. They both have an alarm built in. And you can change the wallpaper on both of them, which is uh, pretty neat. They're both relatively comparable. It depends on what exactly it is you're looking for. As you can see, they're both pretty stylish units. Um, not a lot of buttons on the outside of them because they're both touch pads or touch screens, so you don't need a lot on the outside. Um, as far as some of the specs on these, the audio files played by the P2 are MP3s, WMEs, and OGGs. The iPod's got ACC, MP3, Apple Lossless, Wave, and AIFF files. Um, now the iPod's got uh, Wi-Fi internet on it, but it does not have Bluetooth. The P2 has Bluetooth 2.0, which supports two headsets at the same time, so you could, in reality, have three people listening to the same P2 at once, which is kind of cool. Video files wise, um, the P2 runs MPEG-4 SVI and WMV9. The iPod's got MPEG-4 and you've got H.264 file uh, types on it. And the battery wise, um, the battery, they both run five hours of video, so they're completely equal on that. The battery life for the iPod is 22 hours for audio playback. The battery life in the P2 is 30 hours, so you've got 8 hours extra of audio playback on here, which is an entire day at work, if you're using it for that or whatever. Um, I know the software on these two, the P2, it's running Samsung's Media Studio 5, and this is running um, iTunes 7.4. Um, that's pretty much all we've got for these. They're both really comparable. Like I said, I like the Samsung a little bit better because it's smaller, more compact, and the uh, Apple screen's not that much bigger where it's going to make that much of a difference for me, so I'm going to go with something that's considerably smaller. They're both real stylish, both nice looking. Um, they're both pretty great, but yeah, the Samsung gets my vote. Till next time, see you later.